That is a real flaming piece of paper, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, hello and welcome back to the Shallow Proclamation with your main person, Thomas, and I'm joined by... <laughs> your your secondary person, Paul. Oh, no, you're, you're the real main person. <laughs> yeah, no, so we're watching The Romans, which is a classic Doctor Who story, and we're on to the finale now. <laughs> Sorry, I have COVID at the moment, but I'm fine. Um, Pestilence and plague. (laughs) Gives a good sense of his madness, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You would just kill someone like that. Right next to Barbara. That was quite well shot because you thought it was going to be Barbara. And then, of course, my orders are to be carried out. Otherwise, your own life will be in danger. (laughs) (laughs) Face of a man who's had enough. Have you got a bad boss? Like (laughs) that's him told. My farewell performance. (laughs) Starting a fire. My plans, my drawings for the new Rome. You fool, you idiot. Don't interfere, Doctor. That is a real flaming piece of paper, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Good luck, my child. Good luck. Hmm, interesting. Good, good. Hmm, yeah, he had a cross, didn't he? Doctor, and after that long talk you gave me about not meddling with history, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, good job of pulling him up on that. <laughs> oh, well, that's an interesting blend. From the Doctor's laughter to Nero's laughter. Who's the real maniac? There wow, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, we've got to get back to the TARDIS, haven't we? Cock Crows is actually uh, the brother of Russell Crowe. <laughs> These two. These two, eh? Yeah, what are they like? Yes. Off we go. Ooh. The web planet. Well, apart from culture, wine, roads, <laughs> yeah. the aqueduct, education, education <laughs> what have the Romans ever done for us? <laughs> Yeah, well, that was uh, quite horrific roaring, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, I think, I can't remember if I said it at the beginning of this episode or at the end of the last one, but it really is, as a story, it's a proper, like, romp, isn't it? It's a, just a, a comedy caper full of fun, um, doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, yeah, and I love the conceit, you know, at the end there that the Doctor and Vicky get back and they're like, oh, Ian and Barbara, you've just been lazing around having a lazier time i like i hadn't really even twigged that they they never really registered each other you know even though we made a comment didn't we at one point in one of the episodes about them crossing paths but not seeing each other um that was about an episode and a half or two episodes ago um it didn't, didn't really twig until that last minute that uh of course they never come face to face with each other in rome um so i think that was really neatly done actually this kind of nice little conceit yeah, and in a way, Ian and Barbara had a had a more challenging time than the Doctor and Vicky did. Mm. Um, yeah, no, it was good. It was entertaining. It, it it felt like a yeah. No, it didn't feel like it dragged at any point either. No, no, not at all. And uh, you know, and and also, again, just a good example of how fresh the series is at this point. That it's a completely new type of you know we've not had anything like this but yet at all we've had a few things with like comedy moments think back to um the reign of terror william hartnell had a couple of moments in that that were quite amusing um but this whole thing is played just like as a comedy really on the whole um and it's good that the series can kind of do that it reminds me a bit of um i'm trying to think like in the modern era i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's necessarily played entirely as a comedy but um something like the unicorn and the wasp the kind of Agatha mm. Christie one is quite light-hearted. There's a lot of humour in it. There is this kind of story of the the murders and you know whatnot behind the scenes, but it's it's very much a kind of fun caper 
Um, yeah, and it's it's a genre piece, isn't it? It's kind of riffing on the tropes of uh, the sort of who done it kind of thing. You have a few episodes like that in the modern era where it's kind of yeah, a spy episode or a a western or something. Yeah, uh, it plays on that in the music and the way it's done. Yeah, they've they've had a lot of fun over the years, haven't they, with mm. those sorts of things. But yeah, it was interesting to make this one. I suppose in a way, this was an obvious one to do in a comedic way because it's kind of Rome and it's a bit over the top and what you know, they're kind of. We don't know too much about that that culture anyway. Um, mm. I'm trying to imagine if, uh, yeah, if they'd turned, uh, I don't know, Keys of Marinus into an out and out comedy. <laughs> I mean, it it's, kind of what we found it funny all the way through. Whether it was the censor rights as a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was good actually because even though it's a it's a purely historical. It's kind of a, basically a pure historical, that one, that we've just watched, the Romans. And, of course, we, we talked a few times about if if it was realistic, the the reality of kind of slavery and the stuff with Barbara and what the emperor could do um, would be pretty horrific. So it probably works that they've made it more of a lighthearted thing, you know, comedy scene. I also think as well that in my head, this and the... If it was more realistic or, or less com- comedic, I think it would be very similar to something like the Aztecs mm. um, just in feel. Obviously there's, there's different things going on, but um, so I think it works to differentiate it by doing that, you know, um, but we've had quite a lot of historicals then really, haven't we? Cause we've had the Aztecs and the reign of terror. Marco Polo. Um, Marco Polo and this one. So that's quite a lot within the first block of, you know, obviously within the first season and then into this block in season two as well. So um, they were quite keen at this stage to do those things. So I guess they wanted to keep it fresh, you know. But... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. Well, let's, yeah, we're already uh, 15 episodes into series two. That's a weird yeah. thought, isn't it? Yeah. Working our way through. It's all going well. So, yeah, we'll keep on plugging away. Great. Awesome. Well, let us know then what you think of the Romans. Is it, uh, is it comedy gold uh, or... Uh... <laughs> Should it go the way of Rome and be burnt to the ground? <laughs> um, never to be spoken of again. Uh, let us know in the comments and do come back and join us for the next story, The Web Planet. Uh, but until then, take care and bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.